Hello and thank you for staying with us. This is Still Tea Time on Plus TV Africa where we discuss the biggest entertainment stories. My name is Ossie Godwin and I have my co-anchors standing with me in battle, <laughs> Ife Omai and Benny Ag. Oh, <laughs> well, I can sit there with you right now on the table. I mean, yeah. Thank you too for being <laughs> here. Mm. Guys, don't make it. Good we'll to be it. here. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Okay, so still on the coronavirus, prayer cannot cure coronavirus. And this is coming from comedian Ali Baba. He warns against pastors and imam. He says, stay safe, don't test God. You cannot be holier than the Pope or other senior pastors. Mm. Ali Baba is a Christian, isn't he? Mm -hmm. And he has spoken. So mm -hmm. um, there are the Christians who always feel the need to defend their God and themselves, I mean, get on the stage and troll him and let's see what that is going to be like. You He's know, just going to block I mean. them. He's the king exactly. of blocking. You can't, you can't <laughs> be more, like they say, the saying goes, you cannot be more Vatican than the Pope. And so even if the Pope at the end of the day is giving out instructions for you to obey what the World Health Organization is saying, then you don't come out and because of your prejudices and religious um, subjectivism and make a mockery of the whole thing that is people have died from it, family have lost loved ones, the world is still losing people. Mm. And so because of your subjective beliefs and faith, you now make people feel, you know what, um, this thing is not real. There was actually a pastor, I think we also the video that was saying coronavirus is not in Nigeria. Mm. And that if he, if he steps into China, coronavirus will vanish. I'm like, dude, man, you sound, you sound ignorant and you come up like a cloth paid right now. And people like you should be arrested. You know, because you're part of the people, part of the problem, passing false information to the people. So imagine how many people in that crowd was influenced by that stupidity, mm. you know, and mm. buffoonery, you know. And so um, Alibaba is right on this. But there's yeah, still this, people, there's still people who are going to hold on to the fact that, you know, uh, we'll pray this thing out. I mean, it can affect us. And so they'll decide mm. to be stupid I'm not saying and not pay not attention pray. to I'm what just saying while praying, do the right thing. So social distancing, stay in your house, no church service. So you can pray from the house, right? Wash your hands, do everything necessary. They have, they have a problem with that. They, they have a problem with you, LC. <laughs> Don't tell them not to go to church. Don't say it. This Don't reminds me of the story we were supposed to discuss in the previous episode, Uche Elendu, who came out to defend. Um, no, def let's call like it defend. Is it defend or attack? I mean, it was more like an attack of a statement no. of Ilda Dokubo. Yeah, well, yeah. yeah. She said she doesn't agree. And she said, talking about in the Bible, how um, pastors go to... Oh, no, 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 that Jesus did not go to go door to door to heal people, yeah, yeah. that it came to him or something of sorts. And that, yeah, and, and, it, and it was the people's faith, expression of faith also. Mm, that that, that is yeah. so messed so. up. Like, what kind of really? <laughs> okay. Let's and I'm wondering, why that. are you defending the people that are coming out to tell you that he, he will travel to China? to deal with coronavirus and you're defending them. So you, I don't think... And how does this religion thing work that, that is based on about. my faith that I would, I would then be healed? Like, well, then what's the point of the guy that, that's doing the blessing if it's solely based on me? It's interesting how, like, I have so much power until I don't. Because God forbid, if a person has the coronavirus, God is... Um, then it's my fault. But then if I get healed, then, oh, I cannot... I, it's, not, it's not your fault. Yeah, because that, stop because, me. Yeah, because that happens. All of a sudden, God has now so much no, power that happens to Sure. some kind of special arrangement you know so there's always a loophole with this thing um the, my problem with my biggest problem with religion is that it just doesn't give space for logic and i remember always saying it when i went to my journey of like saying okay this religion thing is not for me is that there's no way that my creator will be this stupid like i cannot serve a god that i can beat mentally um mm. and there's no way that he will give me so much logic and then ask me not to use it because of yeah. faith um so for me is this is one of those things where it's too clear and i it's unfortunate because i don't want it to be like oh i told you so but for me, this particular incident, like coronavirus being in town, just gives me a very good example or to set aside when I'm arguing about how religion is so toxic for the community on a larger scale. The, the, the advantages um, or the cons or the pros rather of religion in our society sometimes doesn't just outweigh the negativity that comes with it. There's a lot of, there's too many bad eggs in this basket um and i'm not saying that chuck the whole thing away i've never said that because i know there is valid um a, a valid purpose and way that religion should function that can be helpful for humanity but a lot of the times what you just find is that it's it's just adding to the problem and in nigeria we can see we talked about it earlier today that the biggest problem what we have started from sunday before sunday nobody was talking about coronavirus after sunday everybody believes it's coronavirus but they cannot get it and that's from church. You know, mm. exactly. And, and this is what happens when you have a society that is made up of fewer people with high IQ over 
a, a whole lot of people, hmm. you know, with, with lower IQ, they can't think for themselves. They can't reason. So anything you sell to them, especially on the platform, the plethora of religion, they're going to buy it. And it's to a major that many people, because of this kind of belief, they will die from this thing because they believe, you know, I got to pray. I yeah. love to pray. But I, I meditate every morning when I wake up. I pray. You know, but that doesn't make me stupid. That doesn't make me put my, my whole sensibility, like if I was really say, all the intelligence this creator gave me, and I become foolish. You know, it's always been a problem of those religious fanatics. They confuse foolishness mm. for fate. Yeah, so it which is work. what we're saying, just way. follow the rules yeah. and regulations because the scariest thing about this virus is I can follow the rules, do everything I'm supposed to do, but if the next person refuses exactly. to do the right thing, you put us You're all in danger. In danger. Yeah. So yeah. this is why we are clamoring. If it's a case of you catch it and if you refuse to take care of yourself, you will die alone and not, I mean, Nobody good, would, good luck yeah. to people and faith, but it's a situation <laughs> because you if you are alone. in danger, you I am in you. danger. You know? So please, if you don't love yourself, Think about we who love ourselves and let our love live long. Please, thank you. Now moving on, popular Hollywood actress Musu Filani is low-key praying coronavirus wipes away all corrupt leaders. In her own words, she says, my low-key prayer is that this coro will wipe away all our corrupt leaders. My loud and sincere prayer is that we, the innocent and suffering masses, won't partake out of this deadly virus. Amen. Amen. Oh, the wow. church says amen. <laughs> amen. Okay, says amen. that was amen. not my prayer, Joe. It's okay. okay. But you know, I could understand. <laughs> I could understand the point she's trying to make, right? Yeah. But but as it is right now, unfortunately, unfortunately, yes. It doesn't I mean, work like that. You know, um, it, it's again looking. I said with, um, during the of the press this morning, I did say it with my guests. You know, it began to look like as if the most people uh, rec who have been recorded positive. At the at the elites, mm -hmm. you know, the government officials. It, it gives me hope, more, actually. More glaring and hoping they're going to do what they're supposed to yeah. do. Yeah. You know, but we don't we don't need to wait for a virus for for a strain to wipe out corruption from our land. You and I, we all have the responsibility from where we wake up, from our home to our schools to our place of work, to God start doing the right thing. The system, ways, you know, yeah. the mm -hmm. system needs a total overall. I mean, for corruption to and it's happening. To end. And well, we, we can. <laughs> <laughs> well, if we were to go by what she's saying, we're thinking that is the beginning of it, you know. But our lawmakers are there to enact policies that will mm. take your corruption in land. But unfortunately, for like most of them... generator policies. For most of them, they, they corrupt themselves. And so you can't, you can't beat the system from which you're feeding illegally from. And so that is the big problem. Yeah. You know, you're going to be like one man standing out in a million trying to fix a problem that the other people are not ready to fix. You know, so um, to be taken lightly, yes, what she said, but at the same time, it makes some kind of sense, unfortunately. Do you know the difference between, I mean, there is corruption globally. That's one thing we need to understand. But the difference between corruption in Nigeria and the corruption globally is pretty simple. Globally, when you have a contract to do a job, you make sure you do it and pocket to standard, yeah. right? And pocket your gain. Your gain can be 50% of the, but the job is it's done. So when they say, where did this one billionaire go into? You can see if they call it ultra modern, that's the word we like to use, right? The phrase, you will see an ultra modern yep. facility and you cannot speak anymore. But here, this cup is supposed to cost probably, I mean, hypothetically speaking, 20 naira. You go there and you collect 20 million naira. Hmm. And the most annoying part is that we will cup. not see I, the I cup. Hope. You know, that is the yeah. problem it, it, we have it, yeah. in Nigeria. I think this morning, if Eddie said something, it's not, Ni Nigeria is not the worst country when it comes to the corruption index. I mean, I, think that, I even think there's more corruption. There's more corruption in, in the U.S. But the point remains that there are punitive measures where mm. people are held accountable. You got, you got, to, be, you got to, account to be accountability. For, yeah. but unfortunately, and it means yeah. you have to be really smart to oh, even yeah. be to corrupt. Be, to be but system, here you can be you know, a stupid no, person. No, yeah. no, but you can, I can take the money from here. Like Everybody sees it on, on, on TV time. Yeah, and then funny. I can come back and say, guys, it wasn't me. Snake, the, rat, the rat came that's and it. ate it. And so, they were like, oh, right, okay, cool. That's the other thing about Nigeria's corruption. I mean, you don't have to be smart to... The system is not that intelligent. Mm, you well, can beat it any time. My thoughts on this prayer is that, you know, it's. I think it's something that everybody thinks about because we are hurt it is a bit extreme though because you have to remember these people are humans and their faces and they have okay. fathers and mothers and sisters true but i understand the anger mm. do i low-key even in my righteous speech believe <laughs> that this <laughs> prayer has every right to stand yes but it is insensitive and it's a bit unfair and it's good to just remember that you know it is um what's it called um 
not right and they're human beings. But if you look at it in context, like what my, my co-workers have been saying all morning, if it doesn't happen like that, we are doomed because the, the, the politicians won't get up and want to protect us. The only reason why they're going to do something about it now is because it's affecting them. So I understand where she's coming from. And I think that that prayer needs to be answered because that's what we need. We need for the top people to actually be affected so that we are protected down in Which the is room. what is happening now because yeah. that's the only thing I'm holding on to as hope because if this virus started from the grassroots before, I mean, you see how long it took for a president to even give us a speech and then call it COVID-19, right? Yeah. So imagine if this did not get to the, the, the seat of power at yeah. all. Yeah. It's a mere case of when you people finish... You take care but of yourself. But then I don't want continue. people to go ahead and start thinking that this is an elite virus. No, it's, it's not. not. The it's reason not. why it's starting with the elite is because they move more. Mm. And um, this virus moves by traveling, which is why we're asking you to stay at home. Mm. So because they move more, they have the privilege and the money to be able to fly and exchange and meet other people from different yeah. types and parts of the world. They're more exposed to it. But guess what? They're here and they're moving amongst us. Mm -hmm. Remember that these people have gate men, security guards, hairdresser. Um, and those people mingle with us. We would have access to those people. So we are not completely safe um, and the people are beginning to think like it's only them that 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 is um, that it's catching it's catching normal people as well it's just that nobody cares about a normal person mm -hmm. so We're their not names are not being right pro now. Um, produced so it looks like oh it's only Atiku Son no Atiku Son is one of the many people that we don't know their names because they're just normal like us so then again we are still we're, we're embracing on the same information stay at home wash your hands I there's another um, thing I started doing today where I put a reminder on and every time I get the reminder, 20 minutes, I just turn up and go and wash my hands. I mm -hmm. feel like everybody should start doing that, even if you're at home. And then this, this, um, this affects effect. your house mm -hmm. as well. Because you don't know, maybe you do have it and you're touching it or you brought it from inside and it's not on anybody, but you're spreading it. So just disinfect. Just keep on digesting yeah. all this information and do the necessary. And also, I know the fear of many is how are we going to survive if there's a total lockdown? But actually for Lagos State right now, which is where the fear is most, right? We have... The lockdown is for seven days, basically. So it would be nice for us to adhere for this seven days so that we won't have to go beyond seven days. So if your fear is, how do I survive um, for seven days? Imagine if you have to do this for 77 days. Yeah. So let's all adhere for this seven days so we can maybe at the end of seven days say we've been able to contain it and everyone with this virus is in a certain place or in a certain yeah. residence that we know that we can move on with our lives. Yeah, and then to throw more light on that, um, the, the seven-day lockdown is not a total, complete lockdown because um, the, the executive governor did say those on essential services that provide essential services like will, will not be affected. Mm -hmm. And some of the schools are shut down for easy um, accessibility will be turned into markets where people can go buy their stock and get medicine and so yes people can still access food stuff despite essential with, things. yes essential yeah. things for living despite the lockdown okay all right we'll go on a very quick break but when we return we have more to discuss Welcome to Tea Time on Plus TV Africa, where we bring you the biggest entertainment stories and, of course, analyze them for you. You can have both parents and still end up as a useless child at the scene every day. <laughs> <laughs> Most times, I worry more about where I'm coming from mm -hmm. and where I am now, wow. and that determines my next step. Why are you sounding like an Alibaba? Alibaba. Oh, <laughs> Plus TV Africa, we're feeling good. No time to do everybody feeling all right. Minimal mm. Akpala music is for mature minded people. I got DM sometimes from Malawi, like, woo! Sleeping early, sleeping early. Welcome back. This is the OC Time of Plus TV Africa. Netflix wins the defamation case for the show When the Seals. The case was brought against the streaming service and its director, Eva Duvernay, by a U.S. police training firm. And so John E. Reid and Associates complained the series had falsely portrayed an interrogation method called the Reid Technique. Judge ruled that the series' depiction of interrogation was protected by law. The ruling was given under the First Amendment, which protects freedom of speech and expression. Exactly. See, I'm mm -hmm. just happy for, for Netflix and for the director of um, When They See Us because mm -hmm. when, this, when it came up on this table, I like, you know what, I feel 
it's still another way you just wanted to make ridicule and discredit that movie. Yeah. Those were some five men minus reality. Mm -hmm. We can't yeah. take that away from them. They had to go, so they said prison sentence of up to six to 13 years. That, that's part of their life. They will never get back, no matter what it is. And something about them has been altered because of that experience. It lost about you know, them. So some, you're not just going to come up because you feel there was um, a, a, a wrongful or an inappropriate um, dramatization of your of your character in the movie, like we did say on the table. Then tell us the true story. What happened? Why Oh, no, that one is you still know, in court. Yes. This one is for technique. So for I'm sure they will okay. win that one you as know, well. But so this for one me, is for technique. I'm happy. Mm -hmm. I'm happy at the end of the day that um, Netflix is wonders. And when that one comes up again, I think it's still going to be another win. I, I, love, I love the series. And... I can't even begin to downplay the depiction of what really happened to those men. I mean, in New York, way back. Yeah, and you know, it's because it's a movie, and they tried to squeeze how many years into um, a, a like four, four part four, series. Four, four series. It's yeah. even like not the depiction of what happened. Four I don't episodes, think you can actually. ever One capture series, their pain. I don't, yeah, I don't think they're you can suffering. actually capture it. Um, it doesn't do it do it justice. You know, sometimes I I I don't understand human beings, like because. Watching that, obviously, we cannot speak for everybody. Just like, just like we cannot capture their true pain, yeah. you probably couldn't really capture what was going on in the minds of everyone. And from what we saw in the movie, they were trying to all get an answer. Did they do the lazy way and the coward way out of picking it on, on pinning on black on black easy or minorities, black and Latino, and Latinos, um, um, people? Yes, but I feel like whatever has happened in there, give you tried, you didn't try, is what you had. This is. I feel like your worry shouldn't be about defending your character mm -hmm. against yeah. the fact that you have stolen somebody's life. Mm -hmm. Like I've seen those men, they I've heard them speak. Like they would admit on a on they so easily scarred. that they're so traumatized yeah, they, 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 and they're not normal changed. anymore. There's nothing yeah. normal about those people. Yeah. So I feel like if that was me and like I let's say even in my own justification, I didn't do what the movie had painted. I feel like that pain or that worried is not considered worthy enough to be complaining about yeah. mm. in it's, comparison it's a, to the issue at hand. Yeah. And that's what makes me even more so disappointed and makes me want to believe the movie more that you have no humanity because you're busy complaining about them not getting the technique yeah, yeah, Especially right. with this technique, I can even okay. begin to understand where the lady is coming from, the other um, lawsuit. But okay. this one... Why can't you just see it as, I mean, we have rules and regulations, right? But at the end of the day, you need human beings to follow those rules and regulations. Why can't you understand that, okay, this man or this policeman got your technique wrong yeah. and take it from there and yeah. sensitize people more. Those that come into yeah. the John Reed um, technique uh, um, school, oh, let they, them they understand even that. There's even you more know? about the John Reed's technique they didn't even portray in the movie. Yeah. That it's so more if horrible that, if than what was portrayed. Yeah. To say, you know what, let's adjust this or these people did not do it the way it was supposed to be done. On. This is how then I would understand you not coming to say that it was portrayed totally wrong and that you need and this that's information. Your issue. You watch and that movie, issue and that's what you took and they should out. take it down. You know, I, I, that, I was, I was hoping with, the, with this movie that they'll be looking more into the system to see how many more people are victims of such. Um, crimes they never committed, exactly. and not coming to tell me and um, you you want yourself you vindicated. All that. Even the you lawyers as well. But you you, you see the, the the truth of the matter is that we deserve this coronavirus. Honestly mm. to God, we humans <laughs> are horrible. We don't we've we've lost touch of what humanity. humanity. Yeah, because it still looks like a battle between um, um, egos and institutions, and mm. not the people. We're forgetting the people, and it's like it's like we've gone so far with that. So um, I don't I know. I feel I'm, like. The, the, the team behind Social Media Week globally now probably saw this problem, which yeah. is the reason their theme for this year was um, human X. Like, understanding that human comes first before any form of technology. Yeah. Yeah. So when all this whole coronavirus thing started happening, I'm like, okay, so whoever came up with that theme for the year um, has to, we need to call the person to the table to say, please, what's all, the group of people to say, what were your thoughts? Why exactly? What, what level of research did you um, go through for you to come um, to this point to say this is going to be theme of this year? Because yeah. we've lost it. it. Yeah. We have. Okay, so we all agree to that one. But moving on to the next one, Kristen Bell and Das Shepard are giving tenants in their Los Angeles up, um, properties one month rent due um, free to due to COVID nineteen crisis. And of course, like CDQ yesterday, this is, this is also amazing. Yeah. 
And I'm looking out, although I think a lot of people that would do this might not get into the news. I'm hoping that a lot of people would do it. But yeah. what I would have loved to say is that um, you have so many people pointing fingers at the celebrities most time to say, what are you doing? What yeah. are you doing? And the people that own properties are not just celebrities. They're regular also, people. Also, they are not celebrities. You know, so right now is the time for them to hold themselves accountable as well to say, what can we do to help our neighbors to help the people that are using our properties right now to make the situation easier. Yeah. I think I need to start hearing more of this because for me, if an individual is giving one to two or three months rent for free, I don't think that that helps because what you're doing is you're just shifting the debt to somebody else who can handle it. We need to start seeing the mortgage companies understand the recession at hand and start to halt that because usually the rent isn't just to the landlord's pocket is actually to the mortgage system majority of people work like that you buy a house and then you rent it to pay mortgage um so when you have that that, that that's the problem that there's a bigger monster on the chain if that person doesn't surrender into this act of kindness that's going on then we're all just cycling around the bigger problem obviously i'll give credit to who it's due and thank them for doing that because it will save a lot of lives but i feel like the bigger problem needs to start happening on the on the capitalist that scale or like started. the larger I was scale. reading an article, um, it has started, but I can't um. say for sure where it is, right? But I read that somewhere where the mortgage are actually halting it yeah. and moving it a bit right. um, forward. So yeah, then it has awesome. started actually. Yeah. You, know, you know, for me, what I want to see more is more of this kind of stories being um, propagated in the media because it's so much gloom and doom with this coronavirus thing. And so I don't think anybody should do something this kind and be quiet about it. As much as you can let it get to the media, let's talk about it to give people mm. hope, to restore hope. If you are the you know, tenants back, that back is getting it and the you landlord know, is saying, um, oh, because cause for these people, they only sent emails. Yeah, it is the tenants that brought it to the media. Yeah. So right. if you're benefiting this from any, your landlord, your landlady, whatever organization it is, please put it out there yeah. to yeah. encourage I, I don't know if you realize that whatever, whatever we give, we give the most thought to always thrives. I mean, there's so much, there's so much media coverage and hype given to terrorism, Boko Haram, and that's what we're hearing. We're not so much hearing about what the military is actually doing, you know, to combat Boko Haram. And so it seems as if Boko Haram is winning. So it's something called the spiral of silence theory, mm. whereby um, bad always seems to be propagated over good, but it doesn't negate the fact that good is happening. So as much as we can get good news to the media out there, social media, let's put it out there, let's just know, you know what, um, the world is not necessarily about to come to an end, like the, it's, it's seeming right now, there's still some good deeds happening and people can get suko and understand that, you know what, people really do care. Mm. And also, uh, we, before we came on, we saw um, what some celebrities are doing online. I think we saw, Ron, was it Ron Town? Yeah. Yeah, so he says he's giving out some of 10 millionaires. So if you're following him on social media right now, Ron there. you might be smiling to the bank, so go check it out. People are dropping their um, account details and he's um, crediting them. I think I saw that on another celebrity's page. I think that was Don Jazzy. I'm not quite, yeah, I think yeah, that's Don Jazzy. Don Jazzy. Yeah. And he's also doing that on his Instagram page. So we know this is going to be thought for a lot of people, which is why I said we need to cooperate so that these seven days will be seven days because if it goes beyond seven days due to our own negligence our own um i don't know non-challenge attitude then we are non in for problem hmm. Okay, so I think that's how I wrap up this episode of Tea Time. Thank you for watching and um, please do stay safe and to watch this conversation all over again, visit our YouTube channel at Plus TV Africa and also do subscribe. You can catch us on Auto TV and also in London on Ben Television. My thank you as always to go to my co-anchors, Ife Omai and Benny Ak and the entire production team. Thank you for watching Plus TV Africa's Tea Time. My name is Elsie Godwin and please do obey rules and practice social distancing.